What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Very, very excited to announce that I finally got my hands on Pink Diamond Carmelo Anthony. Uh, thank you to the NBA 2K uh, Kiwi on Twitter. His link will be in the description. This man went through and grinded and went to level 40. I'm pretty sure he's one of the first in the world. And actually, I think he was first in Australia and New Zealand from my from my knowledge. So he was kind enough to, to send me a DM and ask me if I wanted to do a gameplay. So very big thanks to him. Once again, you'll find his link in the description. Um, but yeah, we'll jump into this game gameplay though very very excited to use this card um if you haven't seen it already it, it is arguably the best card in the game um you'll see from the stats from the badges uh just a note though there are four additional badges that kiwi has added they are intimidator stop and pop dead eye and green machine all in hall of fame so you think about how good this card really is add four extra hall of fame badges and uh yeah he's definitely pretty much unstoppable so we end up playing two unlimited games because people keep quitting against us um and we uh we get the gameplay done so i'm very very excited uh but yeah, stick around because you'll want to see how well this card goes. Alrighty, here we go. This card's absolutely beautiful. 6, 8, 99 offense, 89 defense. Now, with the shoe, he has a 97 three ball, an 89 dunk, 91 ball handle, 87 perim, 80 interior, which is very, very nice. Uh, he has a good speed, 86 lat with this shoe. And you can see here, he has now 10 Hall of Fame badges and 46, 46 gold badges. It is a very, very nice card. You can see the additional uh, Hall of Fame badges there. It's a very, very nice card there. Look at all these gold badges, man. This time of the year, this many gold badges, it is incredible. I did have a go uh, in freelance. I really want to get used to his jump shot before I went online. Um, and look, this jump shot's pretty much better. Like, it's very, very easy to time. Uh, people don't like Mallow's jump shot as well, like across the previous years of 2K. Uh, this year, it is very easy to time. I'm playing on PS5, so I'm on next gen, and it is very, very nice. Now, um, I, I tried to like go, uh, I was trying to like, go deep as far as I could here. You can see I can still make these deep shots. Um, it was a bit more difficult to time obviously you have to get used to the different timing in terms of speed he's not the fastest you won't be able to dribble like you won't be able to chain together Kyrie like dribble moves with him um, I really do like his dribbling though uh, it's it, get, it ca catches a lot of people off guard here now this is our first game here uh, you can see starting off though we we do white quite a lot I'm not gonna lie uh, watching and editing back this gameplay I did white quite a lot of shots here but uh, we're just playing around at the moment getting some threes Ron Boone uh, Mr. Kiwi here has one of the best lineups in the game right now now, he has Kareem, he has, uh, I think it's Mitch Richmond, he has Ron Boone, uh, Carmelo, and Blake Griffin. It's a very, very, very nice lineup, and uh, I definitely enjoyed playing with it. It was very fun. This guy's got Lou Dort, and you can see that Kareem. Kareem, I can say Kareem right now is better than Wilt after using both of them, but Wilt and Kareem are kind of on the same level. I think Kareem's is better at interior presence. You can see here, though, the, the defense just moves and tries to gather and surround Carmelo so much. The, he's able to get these easy, easy takes with him. You can see Kareem... Like, like, I'm telling you, this Kareem is so nice. Blake Griffin, almost. Like, that's Amethyst Blake Griffin. I'm honestly considering picking him up for my bench uh, power forward because he is very, very nice to have. Um, now, the other thing is with Carmelo, he's made that guy quit. He's, he's gone. He's out of there. We start our second game, though. Um, as you could probably tell from especially this game here, there is a lot of chances to get assists with Carmelo. You can see, like, his dribble sticks aren't the greatest in the world, but you get uh, what, either uh, as a hit an early shot. You either get wide open or they're either going to double team you or something's going to happen, but it always, you will score. If you have Mallow and you're an above average player or even an average player, you will be able to score because the defense is drawn to this card so much. You can see here, like the the, the uh, defender there of Blake Griffin was hedging so high though. I pass into Blake Griffin and then another defender has to come and guard Blake Griffin wide open three. So it's just, he draws the defense so much and you'll see it continuously throughout this episode. Another assist in there to Ron Boone and we've got a 10-4 start here. So like we, we keep putting the pressure on Mallow though. Um, look, his defense is also very nice. You'll see, I think I have a few clips of chase down blocks with him. You can see here though look at how many people everyone just went surrounded into the middle i had two players out because of my hawks freelance and everyone just comes into the middle because carmelo's there it's just so good you can see once again baiting with ron boone and getting out to the corner with carmelo anthony we got 16 to 6 lead here this is what i mean it's literally if you dribble back and forth like a lot of people do in this game which annoys me a little bit as we hit a moving three if you dribble back and forth and you that's that's your thing if you're one of those park players that come across the my team and dribble back and forth you will love this carmelo because he draws so much attention and 
and he can dribble back and forth so easily. It's 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 incredible. Like he does, he's not the fastest dribbler in the world, but he's a lot of fun to play with. Now here we go here with Carmelo playing a bit of defense, swatting. I think that's Cali out of there. It is Cali. Um, look, interior 80 interior, 84 offense with uh, 84 perimeter defense with the um with the shoe boots. It's a very very nice defensive card as well. Uh, now no Hall of Fame clamps. Um, I actually from memory I can't remember what the clamps is on. Uh, but I'm I'm sure I, I think it might be on gold. But like once again this card there is very little downsides to this card. Like you can see there we trapped uh, we trapped uh, Kareem's opponent there to Kareem's defender so he couldn't get through. And it's just trans transition offense. Like we, we end up turning the ball over. Carmelo's not happy about that. So he's going to go down and he's absolutely going to demolish Jeff Green going in there for a layup. It's um it's a very, very fun card to use. It's, it's by far like I can't wait to get him on my no money spent. It's going to be to the uh, I'm grinding towards at the moment. Like I'm, I'm only at the time of recording this video, I'm only at like 57,000 XP. So I've got a lot of grinding to go. Uh, but I'm currently like I've got everything set out. I've, I've, I've got notes. I've got like hundreds of notes set down on my computer right now. Like how much cards are going for, how like how much MT I need for each card, how much XP I'll get for doing the challenges, what I can stack. Like I'm I'm doing what I should have been doing since day one, to be honest. I sweated it unlimited day one and it was a bit of a pain. But you know, you can see here, like playing full court defense with Kareem, it's uh yeah, I don't think many people will be able to get past this. And uh, I really do hope that at some point, like I mean I have Wilt right now, so a Wilt and Carmelo duo would be very nice as well. Like, obviously, we've got Will 2's free. I don't know, though. Very, very excited. Um, I think it's Al Horford trying to go up with a shot there. Yeah, Blake Griffin's had none of that. I'm trying to look for Mallow as much as possible. We've got 19, uh, 19 with him here. He does have takeover, and takeover with this shot is always going to go in. I do hit a lot of wides, as you're probably telling. I did say that earlier. Don't know how that's not cross-court, but we end up getting the steal there with Mallow and slamming it home for 24 points. Now, this is in the third quarter, and uh, we've got 24 points, so you'll be quite surprised with how much we finish at the end. I don't know how you could possibly stop that play. If you want to go back and have a look at it, it's a pa pass inside of Blake Griffin, draw Cat over, and an oop that goes about 20 meters above the rim for, for Kareem to slam in. So I don't know how anyone in the world could possibly stop that. You can see here, though, Serge trying to back down Blake. Kelly, we bait Kelly into the three ball, out to Carmelo, uh, running out of time here in the third quarter. The moving, uh, like, mid-range fade. I, I won't lie, I was trying to go for a dunk, but I will take the mid-range, because we do green it. Um, and you can see, once again, I'm pretty sure, we'll, we'll check at the end of it, I'm pretty sure Kareem finished with 11 blocks, something like that. Like, I just love his interior defense so much. Another slam there. That's 28 and 10 now. We have 10 assists now with Carmelo Anthony. Another white. You know that's going in. That's just, that's just how I work. We're up 68-32. Not really the closest game in the world, but when you have this sort of lineup at this point of the year, you're not going to have many close games if you're an average or an above-average player. So, another white three there with Carmelo. He now has... I, I actually, I don't know how much he has right now. We're going to go inside again, though. That is number 36 there. So, I want to get the 10 assists just to have like a double double I want to have that on the side another pass there to Mitchy Richmond and he hits that for green so 36 and 11 we've still got three minutes left in this in this fourth quarter though so very very excited here uh two and a half minutes to go here 36 points so I know how much I scored towards the end so I'm, I'm quite surprised that in this amount of time I scored this many points so you guys will just have to watch this we're playing their full court defense putting the pressure on him uh, yeah, I think he does score there but we're up 80 to 34 rocking back and forth I wanted to score with Mallow I wanted to try break 50 that was the goal. Uh, we go, little pump fake here. Go back inside the spin mid range, and it goes in because mid ranges are actually a decent option this year. Like if you if you love your mid ranges, you will love my team this year. It is very very nice that you're able to hit these spin jumpers. He's flopping in the corner. We're hitting the green three, and that is 44 points now with Mr. Mallow. But we're not done yet. Al Horford trying a three. This guy, oh, poor, I, I, I mean, I feel good that he stayed for the whole game. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate that uh, the score is what it was. Another three there by Mitch Richmond. Blake Griffin with 12 boards, by the way. I just noticed that Kareem nearly on his double-double as well. Full court break, start a pass there to Mallow. Mallow, stop and pop, and he hits that as well. So now we're getting close to that 50, and there it is. This guy jumped on the chat. I don't know what he said. I'm pretty sure he said GG or something. I don't know. I, I always have it muted, but 95 to 36 was the final score there. A very, very nice game. Uh, this Mallow card is absolutely mental. I cannot say enough. You can see here the box score, though. 51, 11, and 2. We also had a steal on 18 to 22 shooting. 11 from 14 from 3. Like, this, I, I, I barely miss with this card at all. I barely miss with the card. It is a fantastic card. You can see 19, 9, and 11, and 3 steals and 3 assists. Like, this Kareem as well. If this wasn't a Kareem gameplay, I don't know what to tell you. This is also a very, very nice card. Blake Griffin, 6, 13, 4. Very nice, but that Mallow, man. I tell you what, 8 of 22 shooting. You can see the final scores here. We dominate everywhere. We shot 86% from the, from, the, from the field. Half of our shots were 3-pointers, and we had shot 
got 80% from three. Like, this Mellow is absolutely insane. I cannot get over it enough. Uh, overall, really, really good game. We'll jump into the outro, though. Um, but overall, this, this card is absolutely amazing. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Once again, thank you to NBA2K Kiwi on Twitter. You can find his link in the description. Make sure, make sure you go follow him if you want to keep up to date with what he's doing or send him a little g'day message. Um, I'm sure he will appreciate that. But yeah, look, uh, I'm really excited to grind the Dillers level 40. We've got, I think, 18 or 17 days left at the moment. So um, over two weeks to get, what, about, about 95,000 XP, which is very possible, um, I, especially with the amount of cards that we're going to be getting between now and the end of the season. It's definitely possible. I, I think if you're anywhere near level 30, I say, like, the cutoff range is probably level 28 at the moment. I, I would say level 28. Anything above that, you, you can get Mallow still. So don't don't worry about it. If you're below that, you can still get him. But I think it's pretty much, like, it, it's pretty much a cutoff point at the moment. But um, I do appreciate you guys. Sorry for rambling there. Um, once again, this card's amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. I will be doing more gameplays in the future that will come out on these Tuesday episodes. Um, uh, this, this video is coming out late. Uh, I, if you saw my tweet today, I had a horrible migraine all day. So I meant to record this earlier and get it out at 10 p.m. But it's currently around, uh, it's 10.30 right now for me. So uh, this video will come out when it does. Uh, can we maybe potentially hit a like goal of 10 again? I, I know that I asked for 10 likes in the previous episode. I'm pretty sure we hit that as well. So um, all the love and support. I appreciate you guys so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.